What's up everybody? I hope you are doing well. Bailey Pop here and today we are going to be looking through my entire Sailor Moon collection. That's right. Not just my Funko Pops, not just my Lounge Fly, all of it. Let's go! This video has been asked for a few times on my YouTube and my TikTok now. Well, and my Instagram. And of course, I'm happy to show you guys. Fun fact, I actually never watched Sailor Moon until I was in my 20s because I was only allowed to watch specific things growing up, so a lot of the things I like now, I didn't watch until I was at least a teenager. Thank you to everybody who has been asking. Let's get into it. Hi, Editing Bailey here. So sorry, just wanted to let you know that anything that is still available and not vaulted, I will have linked in the description below. So if you want to buy it, you can buy it. You won't have to search the internet trying to find it. There you go. That's all. I love you. Bye. All right, guys. So what we're looking at here is my entire Funko Pop collection for Sailor Moon. Let's start on the left and work our way over. First off, we have Tuxedo Mask. This is just the standard common one. You know, he's a classic. This is the only other Tuxedo Mask besides the other one I'm going to show you. He's one of my favorite characters, but not for the reason you're probably thinking. The reason is because he has no purpose in the show, honestly, let's be real, except for to come in and say cheesy lines and then be like, yeah, Sailor Moon, you got this, or I'll save you by throwing a rose. And that's really it, let's be real besides just being the love interest, but I, I still really do like him. After that, I believe this is a Ban Presto figure of Luna, and she comes with a little stand that also goes in front of her legs, but I never use it. Next to Luna is Sailor Pluto, one of my favorites. The Outer Sailor Senshi are actually all of my favorites. Senshi, love this pop. Underneath Tuxedo Mask, I keep what I call the Golden Crystal. If you know what this is, you know, but this is actually just a candle holder from Hot Top, not Hot Topic, from a craft store. I can't remember the name. But to me, it looks so much like the Golden Crystal that I couldn't pass it up. And we have one of the only two villains out of the entire Sailor Moon line, and that is Queen Beryl. She is absolutely exquisite as a pop. Like, are you kidding me? This is a beautiful pop. The way they did her silhouette and have her dress being her base stand, I, like, this, I, it's outstanding. Following Queen Barrel, we have Black Lady. Again, an exquisite pop. All of these pops capture the essence of their characters so well. If you notice, looking straight on, her pigtails actually aren't aligned correctly. I don't think I've mentioned this, but this is the shared sticker of this version. It was a gift from Dante. Thank you, Dante. So are most of these pops. After Black Lady, we have Sailor Uranus, one of my favorite characters. Look at also her sword. Oh, I love this pop. Next, we have another semi-sleeping Luna, another Ban Presto figure. Behind her, I keep my Sailor Uranus charm. I have a matching Sailor Neptune one on my keys. Then, just like the Golden Crystal, we have the Silver Crystal, which is absolutely beautiful. Again, another candle holder from a craft store, but awesome still. Then we have my favorite from the whole set, which is Sailor Neptune. Honestly, I love her so much for so many reasons. I don't know if I want to be her or have a crush on her. I don't know. But no matter what, like, she's awesome. I love how creative she is, how strong she is as a character, how supportive of a partner she is. Like, I, I love her. I love her so much. And I got her signed! Next up, we have the three-pack of the royal family, starting with Small Lady, also known as Chibi Usa. Adorable dress. Look at the ribbon in the back. Love this figure. Then we have our only other Endymion figure, which is King Endymion from the three-pack. I think it's an interesting choice that they decided to make his hair purple in this, but no matter what, I love it. Then we have my only out-of-box Usaki, which is Queen Serenity herself. Actually, pardon, Neo Queen Serenity. And you can't tell me that the Sailor Moon Pops are not beautiful. Like, look at this. Are you kidding me? Literally, like, they, they knocked them out of the park. I love them so much. Now that we have cleared out the front, we can see all of my pops that I have on the back. So first, we have Sailor Venus with Artemis. Let me pull it out for you guys. To the best of my knowledge, this is the only other Artemis pop that we have. I don't know that as a fact, though. Do your own research. Then we have Sailor Mars. I had the opportunity to get her signed by her dub voice actress, but I decided to get my Ladybug signed instead. Then we have my favorite of the inner five, Sailor Senshi, which is Sailor Jupiter. I love her. Then we have the first of my four, Sailor Moon, which is the common Sailor Moon with Luna. And in this one, she's doing her signature, in the name of the moon, I'll punish you. Then I actually ended up getting two of the same pop by accident. They were both gifts, but... It is the Sailor Moon with Moon Stick and Luna. And this is the special edition sticker, which by the way, if you see a special edition sticker that small, it still is legit. And then this is the US Hot Topic exclusive version. Then we have the last Sailor Moon of the day, which is Super Sailor Moon. I've never taken this one out of box, I don't think, but it is a super pretty pop. And then last but certainly not least, we have Sailor Cheapy Moon. So fun fact, 
I got this as a gift and I was told that this was a sticker swap. So this was probably an SE sticker. It is the legit pop. It's just somebody switched the sticker. So I, I don't know how I feel about it, but I have it. Oh, and because I know people will ask, my normal bookshelves are from Walmart and all of the other shelves that you see will be from Amazon. After Funko Pops, we have Loungefly. So these are the two that I own officially. This is the Sailor Moon backpack. I believe you can still get it at Box Lunch. Don't quote me on that. But if you look online and look up Sailor Moon Loungefly, this is, I think, the only official one. There might be one or two others. Then this is the matching handbag. Again, adorable. Now, I'm not sure what these are called, but these are mini figures that I was gifted by a close friend. Thank you so much. You know who you are. But I have Sailor Saturn, Sailor Pluto, Sailor Neptune, Sailor Uranus, Chibi Usa with Diana and Usagi. They're all in their school uniforms. And besides figures and bags, I also have Starbucks cups. This one is by House of Mouse on Etsy. It is a Sailor Neptune, which I am in love with. Then there is the first one I ever got, which is Black Lady and she's absolutely gorgeous let's be real by the same creator and fun fact if you didn't know i used to have two cats but then the other one had to go live with dante's mom but this is patches and this is nala and i won this cup in a giveaway by i believe it was love and justice boutique next we have my largest collection of cute baskets my sailor moon first we have chibi usa in her school uniform then we have sailor uranus then we have Usagi in her princess form, Princess Serenity. Then we have Super Sailor Moon and Sailor Saturn. For some reason, her bow comes off, and anytime I try to move it, it, yeah, it falls. Then my favorite cute Posca in Sailor, Sailor Neptune. I keep her on my desk. And last but certainly not least, Sailor Pluto. Look at the detail of the keys around her. I also love the staff on Sailor Pluto and Sailor Saturn's scythe. Oh my gosh, I might display them like this now with her bow on, but yeah. Then I was also gifted this Luna mug. Oh my gosh, like, I'm scared to use it. So I've just been having it in this box like forever. And then my wonderful friend Joseph gifted me this. I haven't had the chance to wear it yet, but one day I will. And then I have a few random things. For instance, I have this scroll uh, kind of banner thing from Hot Topic. We needed a few more dollars or to spend a few more dollars so we could get a discount on our entire purchase. I think it was with Hot Cash, and that was one of them. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot it, but I also have this Sailor, uh, well, not Sailor, but it's an Artemis purse, and I have a matching black one for Luna, and you can get these on Amazon for under 20 bucks each, and I use them on the daily when I'm afraid to use my lounge fly that are expensive and hard to replace. I'm telling you guys, you will get so many comments on these. There are so many hidden Sailor Moon fans out there. Before I forget, I am missing a few of the Funko Pops. For instance, I am missing Glitter Sailor Moon, which is the most expensive out of all of them. I've only ever seen them in person twice, and that was like literally a few days ago. <laughs> then I'm on the hunt for Sailor Saturn. I love her so much, and it kills me that she's so expensive and so hard to find. Also missing Sailor V and Sailor Mercury, but I think that's it. If there's anything else, I'll put it here. And that, my friends, is my Sailor Moon collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. I also have a few random pins that I'm going to be including in my pin video that I'll show you for Sailor Moon. In general, that was the majority of everything I had. If you'd like me to do this with anything else in my collection, let me know. I recently just did Naruto, though, before anybody asks. Shout out to everybody that's currently subscribed or is following me on any of my platforms. I really appreciate you. Always remember, guys, you are loved. You are valued and you are enough. Bye!